Libra. Come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. All right, Libra. I've been meditating on it, and the words that came to me were fork in the road. It actually kind of came as crossroads, and then it was like, mm, it's more than crossroads. It's like, it's it's a fork in the road. Crossroads sort of feels like more. This one's just like, you've got an option here. So let's have a look. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readers, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. There's a lot of scammers out there, my loves. So if you want to book a private reading with me, you have to come to my website. That's the only legit way of getting one with me. I'm not going to come to you. And if I do come to you, then it's not me. It's a scammer. So don't fall for it. Right. Fork in the road. Fork in the road. Libra. Ooh, one way or the other. It's not a crossroads. Crossroads would be harder. One more. Libra. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, I like this Libra. I like it a lot. So what was, what's, what's the general vibe of the reading is the three pentacles in reversed. And the cause of it is the magician. The three pentacles in the work, in, in, in the mubair. The three pentacles in reverse. I can speak. I can get my, my words out of this thing here. The three pentacles in reverse is kind of like things not working. It's just, you're just not gelling. You're not working together. You're not, it's, it's about teamwork and it's just, it's not, it's not coming together. You're not working together. The call of it is a magician. I'm getting so much from a magician. I actually don't know where to start. Whoa. I'm just like, oh God. So we've got somebody who's they're very connected to you, deeply connected. We've got the infinity symbol here. This is a deep soul connection. If you think about what magicians are, they're false. They, they're, what they're showing you is an illusion. It's not real. So as deep as this connection is, what this person's showing you, it's not really there. There's still this connection, yeah, but if this person offered you love, that wasn't really there. The connection was there, but the relationship that they could offer you wasn't there. That's sort of what I'm getting at. You know, like, uh, like, oh, oh, my, my thumb, I'm gonna, oh my god, I just pulled my thumb off, it's, I didn't really pull my thumb off, it's, it, it was my fake thumb, right? I'm good at that. Oh, let me, let me pull this crystal from behind your ear. <gasps> I know, I'm really I'm good at this trick. Did you know you had a crystal behind your ear? No. I'm magical like that. Just shut up. I'm good at this. <laughs> anyway, back to, back to the reading. What this person was offering you wasn't real. They couldn't give it to you, basically. Um, but there's a deep soul connection.
what we've got here, what's coming up now, what's what you need to know right now. We've got the Eight of Swords in reverse. I feel like the, due to this connection, you were very tied to this person spiritually. Could be a twin flame thing, could be, I don't know, karmic. Um, actually, you've seen twin flame there, actually. But... What we're getting now is the Eight of Swords in Reverse, freeing yourself from a self-imposed prison. So, you know, this soul connection that you had with this person, the illusion that they couldn't give you what you needed, you're now freeing yourself from this. Tell me more. I'm hearing you. I'm hearing your voice. I'm getting chills, like goosebumps. See that? Proper goosebumps here. This is you saying to them, I love you. And I'm always going to love you. That's never going to stop. But you can't give me what you're, you know, essentially kind of promising. It's not real. So I can't wait around forever. I just can't. I'm never going to stop loving you. That was always going to be there. I'm not letting you go. I'm not moving on. I'm just existing now. I'm living. I'm like in a holding pan waiting for you in purgatory. I'm, I'm going to start living now. It's not moving on. There's no, there is no moving on from you because I'm always going to love you. But I'm going to start living now. Because you can't just keep me waiting like that anymore. That's your prison that you put yourself in, my love. They're just, you know, kind of going along with it because you're letting them. People behave how you allow them to behave. You need to know right now is that they this person is watching you watching what you're doing and they don't know what to do and that doesn't really matter libra because you got to start living again you have to start living in this world and not being in this stasis so this is the crossroads essentially is that you're at you can stay in stasis or you can start walking down that road and seeing where it takes you. That's life. They're watching you and what you're doing and they don't know what to do. But what you're looking for now is stability and loyalty, you know, a happy home. Financial abundance. Ab abundance. Just, you know, abundance in general, not just financial, but abundance. Love. Friendship. Happiness. And money. Anything else Libra needs to know right now? Oh, are you, are you confused? Yeah, they're confused. They're freaking crazy confused. Their life's in turmoil. You know, they're, they're, they've got the four ones in reverse. Not you. Now that you're not in stasis waiting for them anymore, they're like, ah, but, but, This is good. This is going to make them make a decision. What they don't know is that it's too late now. Once you start walking down the, the life road, instead of waiting for them, they're going to have to run really fast to catch up. I don't know if they're going to though. Once the ship has set sail, 
that's it. You got a new beginning here, Libra. Great new beginning. You've transformed throughout all of this. Ace of Wands. You, this has been a transformational time in your life. That's my illumination. It's my computer screen because my lights are too bright. I'm just, I need to, I need to reset all of this, this, this setup. But, uh, for all of this it's resetting things it's fine the way it is it doesn't matter oops anyway right anything else Libra needs to know right now about them it sort of looks like that's done what you wanted Libra from that you were never going to get that. It was all an illusion. They couldn't give it to you. They m might have wanted to. Did they want to? They were too hesitant. I, yeah. <laughs> I actually thought it before I even put the card down. I, uh, with the page of cups here, I, I see them writing you messages and ripping them up, like writing a letter, ripping it up, or uh, sending, like writing an email and not sending it. Texts, same thing. Open your DMs, but they're not being up in them at all. Just like writing it all and then be like, no, no, just erase it. I can't. <gasps> they, they, they hesitated for too long. Lost the game. Missed the boat. Because you're walking away. You realise that now how you feel is important. And this person's messing with your boundaries. And people don't mess with your boundaries, Libra. You put up a boundary, nobody's going to cross it. Hell no. There comes a point where a Libra's like, I've taken too much crap from you now. That's 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 what's done, and you're never really ever gonna let that person in ever again. Not in the same way, anyway. I see them. You're walking away. You've given them this option. And this kind of came up in a dream. I had a dream about my twin flame and I said to him, and this is, I'm seeing it again for you. It's, it's kind of like it, it's relevant for you. I saw him in the dream and I said, are you going to talk to me? And he said, no. So I turned around and I walked away. And he said, oh, sure. All right then. But I was already walking away and I heard him say it. And I was like, no, mate, you already said no. I'm not going to wait around for you to mess me around more it's not a joke it's certainly not a joke to me so you're gonna take it as a joke sling your hook mate sling your hook or as we'd say it in my hometown sling your hook that's sort of like you you're you're in that energy where you're like no you, you're gonna play with me are you gonna be the the magician there are you gonna are you gonna lie you're gonna deceive you're gonna tell me it's all gonna be fine and not really mean it you're gonna make me wait for you but then not make any movement in my direction no that's you messing with my boundaries and we're done Anyone into like, you know anything about dream meanings? Do just talk to me in the 
chat below there. So he ran after me in my dream and he gave me a loaf of bread. And I don't eat bread because uh, I, I don't do gluten. It's, it's, it's not my thing. So I was, I was sort of thinking like, oh, thanks in the dream. Like, thanks. I don't eat bread, but whatever. But also, you know, bread's kind of a symbol of, you know, it's a bit of a religious symbol for, you know, something that you can sustain yourself on. When you break bread with someone, it's, you know, a sort of friendship kind of thing. I don't know. Anyone got any ideas there? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, moving forward for you, this is not about me. This, I'm just, you know, I see me doing readings like this as we're hanging out. That's why I say, come on in, put your feet up and make yourself at home, isn't it? All right. Why is the Ace of Cup here for <laughs> what you need to be aware of moving forwards? This is not them. You've moved on now, baby. This is not them. You've got a new beginning. That cup of love's overflowing. This is not this person from the past. This is something else. Tell me more. Possibly a uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups. New love coming in. When I read the extended, I'm going to ask about your, I think this is a twin flame reading. I'm going to ask about your twin flame. I'm going to ask how they feel about you, how they see you, what their intentions towards you and some guidance from the universe. But this stem now this is done we're moving on to the next part of the reading you're walking along the path now to life you're not in stasis anymore you got a new beginning a new love who are they possibly an aries leo sag uh, libra gemini aquarius i think that's a taurus You haven't been in contact with this person for a little while. Um, this person's looking for a relationship. Maybe something conventional with a twist, because we've got the fool here. Tell me more, what's coming up in the near future? Not sure when this is coming up. I'm just looking at timings here. Not sure when that's. Hmm. I think the fan is a Taurus. But tell me more about what's coming up in the near future. I'm really crap with timings on Major Arcana. They think you're beautiful. Be careful, you might have babies. <laughs> uh, you haven't spoken to this person for a little while. This is someone you already know. Like they uh, they come in with something you don't want to hear. They 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 come back into your life with something that you don't want to hear. And you're like, hmm, hmm, hear that? Tell me more. Oh hey, did you hear about this thing? No, when I didn't want to. Tell me more about why is this page of ones here? Oh, first. not really kind of giving me much to be honest it's something that you don't want to hear that they come in with but this is this is your new beginning this person I don't think they're saying something to you negatively like at you 
I think it's sort of like, oh, I've got this bad news about something. And you're like, oh, that's, that's harsh. Oh no. Tell me more about this person in the near future. This uh, person is a healing energy in your life. They're coming with love. They're heal healing energy in your life. And tell me more. Why is the world here? You're the... Uh, I can't get my words out. It's, uh, well, it's going too fast in my head to get it out. The world. This is like um, a completion of a, a cycle. Um, uh, lights are going out. You, you, you finished that part of the journey. I can't get my words out. It's like... <laughs> you finished that part. This is the next part. Yes, this is what you've been manifesting. This is, you've been in stasis and you've been manifesting this person into your life. Not necessarily like this exact person, but the kind of person that this is. You've been manifesting maybe, for instance, a, a relationship that they're going to be your best friend. Uh, they're going to be loyal and honest and trustworthy and safe but also like a totally bomb lover. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of what is coming. You? This is great. This person, we've got the eight of pentacles here for you. I, I, this person coming in, I feel like there's some sort of work relationship where you can kind of work together and, and this person benefits you in the old abundance department financially. Um, that's cool. But also them, they're, they're like a healing energy. They make you laugh. Tell me more. They're so very stable energy for now. This might not be your forever love. I mean, you've got your twin flame here who's like no longer part of your life. That's you, you often think that your twin flame is going to be your forever love, but I don't truly believe that. For me, I sort of feel like <sighs> union will happen if it happens. And it won't if it won't. And this person, your twin flame, is their purpose is to wake you up. Their purpose is to crack you open, basically, so that you heal the stuff inside of you that you didn't know needed to be healing. You see the wounds, they come up and you're like, ah! And you have to feel your way through it and you have to heal your way through it. And that's that's what your twin flame's there for. If you come into actual physical union with your twin flame, cool. It's rare, but cool. Great. Awesome. But I don't really feel that that's the purpose. The purpose is to uh, <laughs> kind of drive you to a point of pain where you have to heal. You have to. You really have a choice. So the outcome here, we've got the Knight of Wands, great. The sun's rising behind the Knight of Wands there. The Knight of Wands is sexy. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Go with it. Keep walking down this life road. Just go with it. This might not be your person, but they're gonna be a very healing energy in your life. It's a new love. Fun. They'll help you in your career. It might not be your forever love, but I think for now, I kind of like it.
Let's have an oracle card for Libra, please. It's time to release negativity. I think I'll say no more on that. And your love lyric is... So message to your twin flame. It's, it's Love and Affection by Def Leppard. I don't need your love and affection or what you think it should be. I sort of feel like that's you to them. I mean, you don't really need it anymore. And what they thought it should be is you waiting around, stasis, not living, not breathing, not growing, just waiting. And uh, that's not love and affection. It doesn't work for you. So you're moving on. And you're not really moving on because you'll always love this person. You're just walking along the road now to life. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you want to watch Extended, take a look at the description box below. The link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. <laughs>